So what is a pre-existing condition and what happens if you have one with your insurance? So I want you to picture this. I want you to picture you're going for a nice Sunday drive down the road, speed limit's 30 miles an hour, and a car comes racing by you at 80 miles an hour. And you say, wow, that's incredible. But you keep going on with your day and three weeks later, you get in the mail a bill for the other person who was speeding. Not you, but you're now paying the bill for the gentleman going 80 miles an hour. Not just that, you're also paying his increased insurance rates because he was breaking the law. You would say that's crazy. And yet that's how our medical insurance works in America today. The people who are healthy pay for those who are unhealthy. That's how insurance works. And part of that is very appropriate. And part of that is an abuse of the system. See, our insurance premiums have gone up and up and up, and there's lots of reasons for it. But one of the biggest reasons for it is because we do not live healthfully. In America, between 50 and 85% of all healthcare costs are spent treating conditions that are enormously preventable. Just like the gentleman speeding, he could have prevented that ticket and stopped you from having to pay for his carelessness by just driving the speed limit, obeying the laws. Similarly, if people didn't smoke, didn't drink to excess, had proper weight, exercise, eating habits, all of these things, we would say between 50 and 85% of all money spent on healthcare in America. It's bankrupting the system. So how does this relate to pre-existing conditions? Well, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, between about 19 and 50% of elderly people in this country have a pre-existing condition. And many of those are things that they could have prevented had they obeyed the speed limit, had they taken care of their health their whole lives. And many of them, through no fault of their own, have a pre-existing condition that they did everything right, but they still have it. Now, there is a common sense solution to pre-existing conditions because President Obama was very correct. The system had to change because there are millions and millions of people who through no fault of their own have a condition and how it used to be was that if you had a condition, you couldn't get insurance. You just simply died or went bankrupt or what, both of those things. He said, no, you have a pre-existing condition, it's covered. And he had it partially right. What he did not have right was that he didn't take into account the person who's driving 80 miles an hour when they should be driving 30. Those people need to pay their own speeding ticket. Those people need to pay their own increased insurance rates because they are abusing the system, not you. So you kind of have to ask yourself, why is medicine operating differently? If someone is deliberately and consistently breaking the rules, that's going to jack up the price of healthcare and what I'm paying because I take care of myself. Why doesn't auto insurance? Why don't all the other insurances work that way? It's because it's unconscionable that they would. We have a huge problem in America and that huge problem is entitlement. People think that they can smoke three packs of cigarettes a day and be 300 pounds overweight and never exercise and drink too much and all of these things. And it's okay because somebody else is going to pay for it. That is bankrupting the system. So with every big problem, there is a common sense solution that is not only fiscally conservative, but also socially responsible. And I've already alluded to it. And here it is. If you have a pre-existing condition through no fault of your own, you need to be covered and you need to be covered with abundant resources. But in order for us to have those abundant resources, we need to hold accountable those people who are not taking care of themselves. 
they need to pay their share of what their healthcare choices are going to cost the system in the future, and they need to pay those now and continually throughout their life. And once they decide to start taking care of their health again, those premiums go down again. See, in America, when you get to be 65 years of age, you enroll in Medicare or a Medicare supplement program if you choose. And so bad health choices throughout your entire life accumulate. And by the time when they really start picking up steam is when it's on the government dime. And that's one of the reasons why Medicare is set to go bankrupt in 2026 is because we are not holding people accountable. Do you know that the healthiest 50% of Americans consume less than 3% of all medical resources. So if you're sitting there saying, Reagan, this is ridiculous, it's not gonna save that much money. If the healthiest 50% are only consuming 3%, imagine what would happen if all of us took care of ourselves, even the people with pre-existing conditions. If we all took care of ourselves to the best of our ability, then how much we spent on medicine would be a fraction. Those who didn't want to take care of themselves, they just paid what their choices were going to cost the system over time. Then we would have so much money to take care of those who needed our help, even though they were doing everything they needed to, to stand on their own two feet. They just had a pre-existing condition and they need our help with. I think it's time that we stop polarizing these issues and stop saying everybody with a pre-existing condition gets everything. We know that's not sustainable. And I think we also know that to be fiscally conservative and responsible, we need to hold people accountable for their own actions so that our system doesn't go bankrupt. See, it's not an either or. Well, I guess it is an either or. If you want the system to collapse and want Washington to keep spinning its wheels, arguing over political dogma. But if you want a healthy society, if you want to have medical resources when you need them, we need to balance both of these in a common sense way and move our country forward. Choice is yours. To learn more common sense solutions, to learn how you can personally get involved and to be the change you wish to see in the world, subscribe to this channel and we'll let you know when new videos are out. Please also check out the book I wrote, Universal Death Care, a solution for healthcare in the age of entitlement.